You'll hear a lot during the IAGA conference this year in Jamaica about how technology and innovation has enhanced the gambling experience, um, particularly artificial intelligence, that is machine-learned algorithms which can learn and then predict the kind of bets you like to place, when you like to gamble, the kind of games you like to play, and so on. And undoubtedly, this will enhance the gaming experience. But there is a danger, of course, that will also prolong the gaming experience. It will uh, encourage and promote gamblers to spend more, perhaps take more risks. This in itself then presents uh, a, a problem for regulators throughout the world. How do you intervene against a machine that has all of that technology? Uh, it's incredibly difficult to stage an intervention with friends and family in the real world. Uh, how do you do this online when it's in private? Uh, it's only going to get worse, we would imagine, with virtual reality, with augmented reality, that is, casinos where you can interact with other gamblers, real people, uh, in the online forum. My name is John Dalzell. I'm the chair of the Responsible Gambling Fund in New South Wales. And we are trying to fight fire with fire. That is, we are investing millions of dollars every year on technology and innovation to try and minimize gambling harm and reduce it to zero. By doing this, we are uh, investing uh, in universities and academics throughout the world and technology companies to build apps that will help with those interventions in private to provide real-time counseling and support for gamblers, uh, particularly for uh, remote Aboriginal communities, for young people, uh, foreign language gamblers, uh, and so on. So join me in Jamaica 2019 where I'll be throwing out a challenge to our industry colleagues and asking them how they will uh, build into their online technology uh, platforms and safety nets to help minimize harm for their customers. See you there.